I made a gear calculator program for you guys, so you guys don't ever have to worry about your transmission again. And it is really quite a simple system, but it does require a little bit of setting up. So today I'll be talking about how to actually set it up and how it benefits your tank. So this program has four inputs. Your furious gear ratio, your last gear ratio, your minimum RPM, and your maximum RPM. There are sliders and uh, input boxes. Your input boxes allow for precise adjustment if you just want to eyeball something real quick, you can just use the slider. If you want to have a precise adjustment, you can use the number boxes. And they don't affect each other basically, but they just adjust this final number. This is the one that you actually have set up. So we have currently set up a, a 7 first gear ratio, a 1 last gear ratio, a minimum RPM of 2500 and a maximum RPM of 3300. And if I press submit, you can see I've generated 9 gears, going from 7 all the way to 1. But the last gear is 1.02, so I'll just round it down to 8 gears and, yeah, call it that. And the system is really quite simple, but first of all, let's show you guys where to find those numbers in the actual game. So the first gear is right here, the last gear is whatever is at the bottom, uh, and then we have, here in the engine, we have a target max and a target min, and here is your ma actual hard maximum RPM. And so, uh, it is a hard rule that you want to have your target max at least 100 below your maximum RPM. And target min, uh, dragging the, uh, lower or higher has a few effects, but I'll get to those in a little moment. So this tank currently uses the 1 over N button to generate 8 gears going down from 7. So this is what the game says, like, this, this is fine. But if we actually go and drive it, you might notice uh, we're already gear 4 now, gear 5, and it's not shifting up to gear 6. It just, it's not. It will take an absolute, uh, a, like, an immense amount of time for it to gear up to uh, gear 6. And, yeah, that is just a waste of 3 gears. In non-flat terrain like this, you will never reach the speeds required to go to gear 6. So, again, ways of space, ways of gears, uh, ways of acceleration space, because if you want to have 8 gears, you could have a smoother, more powerful acceleration curve. So overall, it, it, it's not in a very efficient system here. So let's load up the uh, one that has the uh, gears that I generated put in. So here you can see 7, 5, 28, 4, 3, they're, they're pretty close, they're not exactly. So for example, the 528 should be 531. But because of how the adjustment here works, I can only adjust by 0.14. If you can uh, see here, like the adjustments here are really big. And I couldn't get them exactly to the numbers I want. I hope the system will get changed in the future. So I can put in the exact numbers, which will save uh, a bit of space, more efficiency, etc. And yeah, it, it is a quite simple setup here. Just... Uh, Put, uh, input it, uh, the gears generated by the program. And when I start driving this one, I will get a very nice acceleration, pretty fast. Faster than the other one. You can see here it is a much shorter distance until we reach 30 kilometers an hour. And we're at gear 7. That means that we still, we, we still have one reserve gear to reach our maximum speed still. And that's only one gear, and that one gear is solely there to prevent redlining on slight downhills. Um, and that's literally it. Um, we, we have just increased the acceleration and uh, improved the um, like efficiency of the gearbox overall. Simply by putting up our numbers that we had by the 1 over N system pretty much. Let's change them a slight bit and and just press them in there. So let's go into how all the different values actually affect the different uh, behaviors of your tank. So I have a little info card here that I made for you guys to read on. So if you want to increase your acceleration, you want to increase your first gear. This offer also increases the size of your gearbox and the amount of gears that you have. But if your engine skips too many gears during your acceleration, you want to either decrease your first gear or decrease your minimum RPM. Decreasing first gear is actually advised because that one uh, affects the 
Uh, size of the gearbox, uh, while minimum RPM does uh, much less. Well, decreasing minimum RPM will decrease the amount of gears generated by the system. So if I go back to like 900 here, you can see it will only generate 3 gears. Compared to the 2500, uh, if I put that back in, you can see it will generate 9 gears. Uh, so yeah, and that is uh, how you can uh, decrease the amount of gears so it will not skip as many gears. Uh, if your engine redlines too much, you want to decrease your last gear number because that means that it will try to shift up to a gear that doesn't exist. So you want to generate that gear by decreasing your last gear number. And it will also incrementally increase your top speed by your decreasing your last gear. However, if your engine stalls at higher gears or cannot reach the highest gears, you must increase your last gear instead because then you don't have enough power at the, lower, at the la uh, last gears. Of course, you can leave one, as mentioned, uh, to uh, account for redlining on downhill, so that's what I do. That's why I always go with one flat, because almost all the tanks that go with one flat, like unless you have a very high amount of uh, horsepower per ton, will generally not really need gears with a um, like lower ratio than that. So, a larger difference between first and gear, last gear, means a larger gearbox for your tank. Also, just increasing your uh, first gear will also just be a larger gearbox overall. And then here is the hard rule. Always make sure your maximum RPM is lower than the engine's listed RPM limit by at least 100. Again, if you don't do that, your engine will redline every time it will shift up. By keeping at least 100 below the max, you keep it safe, your engine will not get damaged, will not burn. Will not blow up so that's the really important one but if you want to reduce your gearbox size you can also increase the difference between minimum rpm as we just said and a small but a smaller difference between minimum and maximum rpm means a more stable acceleration and better steering the better sparing is specifically for the powertrain twin transmission uh, for the clutch braking it doesn't matter nearly as much and that's basically it um, you can just adjust the sliders, keep working with that. Of course, again, uh, there are some things that you can hand adjust later on down the line, but those are very advanced techniques that are not required for the drastic majority of the tanks, and this system will get you the 99% performance that you need for your tank to perform. And that said, that's all there is to this uh, website. The link will be down in the description for you to click on. It will also be pinned in the comments for you to easily find there otherwise. And yeah, go make use of it. It, uh, it works both on mobile and on PC. So even if you like just want to generate it on your mobile phone, you can do that as well. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, happy gearing.